Okay, so here's the deal. I don't have enough setups to up upgrade to warrant doing a full overhaul of my reptile room, i.e. just the room that I live in. But what I do have is a dilemma. That dilemma is that I am watching Teddy, a blue tongue skink, who is a friend of mine's sister's lizard, and he's currently not in my room. And I would like him to be in my room because that's where all of my little children are. And even though he isn't mine, I did not birth him. Uh, he is very important to me and I think that it is only wise and only pertinent that he is able to live his best life in this room. So here's what I need to do. I need to move him up to my room, but in order to do that, I have to shift around this big metal rack I have that contains my leopard gecko, my corn snake, and my Aki monitor. My Aki monitor, he's at the bottom of the shelf. He doesn't really need to change. What needs to happen with my corn snake is I need to replace his tank with a front opening tank. That way, I don't need space above his tank on the rack to lift the lid off. So what I can do is I can drop the, the shelf down and sandwich my corn snake right there in between. And then I can open his cage from the front whenever I need to take him out. Now, why do I need to drop the top rack down? You may ask, what a silly, silly question. Miscreant. I don't actually know uh, if that's what the word is, but um, I'm gonna assume it is. The reason I need to do that is just because uh, in order to fit Teddy's cage up on the top rack, I just need more space for the heat light and the cage itself. Cause right now the leopard gecko cage that's in there, you've seen it in some of my other videos. It's kind of short. Yeah, there's just not enough space. So I need to drop that rack down and then I need to move my leopard gecko, Fatty, because I originally was gonna rehome her. I decided not to rehome her because uh, you know, there were a few people that hit me up about taking her in. I, I just ended up keeping her myself because I, I do enjoy having her even though everything I said in that video I still stand by. I just ended up keeping her for right now. What she needs to be done, she needs to be moved somewhere else. But I don't know if you've seen my room. I don't have a lot of space here. Every surface area, every free spot in my room is taken up with cages and cages and cages because if I had free space in my room, there would probably be a reptile on it. So what I need to do is I need to downgrade my leopard gecko from a 20 gallon to a 10 gallon, which breaks my heart and I'm so sad about it. I apologize, she'll be okay though. She comes out quite frequently. And then I need to move that 10 gallon onto my nightstand right there because that is literally the last spot <laughs> that has open surface area in my room. So those are the things that I need to do. So I need to go out and get some stuff. I need to get a cage. Black Friday's coming up, so I'll probably get a good deal on that. I'm gonna try not to shop for some new decorations for Fatty's cage because he's being downgraded, but who knows, I might end up doing that. Hopefully not. I guess contrary to whatever the title of this video is, this isn't like a huge upgrade or anything. It's more so just minor TLC, but you know, Minor TLC Reptile Room isn't what uh, gets the millions of viewers that I have to click on this channel. So anyway, if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel because... But also, if you've been subscribed, I appreciate your love and support as always for being a part of this channel. Let's get to shit. What happened is I went to Petco and I bought that cage. Back there, you can kind of see it. Um, for sale, I got like, I got like 50% off or something like that. Um, and then I realized, wait, too much AC. And I realized, wait, Black Friday is literally today. Like if I just wait a week, I can get a Black Friday deal. And PetSmart ended up having a kit swing door uh, a cage for sale. So I need to go get that um, cause it was like a hundred bucks cheaper. Plus I get a bunch of lights and decorations and all that kind of crap. Fingers crossed that Pe Petco lets me return this thing. Cause if I can't, then that means one, I can't pick up my new cage from PetSmart and two, I'm just stuck with this cage. Granted I'll use it, but like, I don't want to spend 200 something dollars on something that I don't need right now. As for the other stuff I need, I need to get some substrate to, uh, to replace Apollo's substrate cause I'm moving him into the new cage. Um, and then I kind of want to get, I do, I have to resist the urge to go get new decorations for Fatty's cage because like I have a bunch of stuff at home. She's also being downgraded slightly into a smaller cage uh, just because that's the way my room is right now. It's only going to be temporary. Um, she'll do fine in a 10 gallon because I do take her out quite a bit and she gets a lot of stimulation from just walking around my bed and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? Yeah, I'm not buying any new decorations for Fatty. Maybe I'll go steal some rocks from the beach or something. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll steal like a couple rocks not steal. I will, I will ethically source. It took me three tries. My video kept cutting out. 
uh, three rocks from the beach. And I'll choose one or two of them to put in uh, in Fatty's new cage. Yeah, substrate, do some pickups. Let, let's get the shit, let's get the shit. Jesus. Okay, so my only, my, I've arrived at Petco. Uh, my one and only concern is that I won't be able to return this cage because the packaging has been torn off of violently. Um, ooh, wait, I should pack the front. That's what I should do. I don't know. There's stuff proving that it's here from Petco. They better take it back because that's a waste of $200. So, um, pray for me, you know? Okay, so they accepted my return and I'm here, so I might as well just check out like Black Friday deals. You got 50% off ball pythons. I don't know if there's anything else here that I really need. Okay, all right, this, this is it. Yeah, it's like there's people with lumber here and they're not letting this guy get out. Uh, but this guy also doesn't, doesn't need to be this careful. Like he has so much room. Boy, oh boy, do I love Southern California and all of its drivers. They're all just so cool and good and competent. Anyway, I'll see you guys at PetSmart. There's nothing interesting is gonna happen. The most controversial thing was whether or not Petco is gonna allow me to return it, which they did, so see you soon. My favorite thing about doing that little sound test thing is that a lot of you uh, think that I'm just doing something funny, uh, which I am. I'm very, very funny and very talented at what I do. But no, I do that so that I can sync up my separate audio track from my visual track. Isn't that, uh, that's pretty hype, right? Uh, anyway, I got this cage from PetSmart. Yeah, PetSmart on Black Friday. Uh, I paid $150. It's a 40, 50 gallon. I don't know what the difference is, honestly. I know it's 10 gallons, but like sometimes I've seen these referred to 50, sometimes I've seen them referred to 40s. It doesn't really matter, but I paid 150 bucks. I got the cage and then a bunch of stuff in there. So I'm just gonna go through everything that's in there um, and then decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. I, I think majorly though, probably not gonna keep everything. I need a, I need a sharp object. This is very dangerous. I should not be doing this. Maybe next time I'll study the blade. Over $80 in saving plus free cricket offer. Wow, I love crickets. Not really. Oh, well, they got just tape holding this thing together. That's pretty solid. Probably gonna give this a Windex down just so I can get all my fingerprints off of it. Oh, there's a little lock right here in case I wanna lock it. That's sick. Oh, and I got a lock up here. Wow, this thing is a uh, super advanced. Create a desert world for bearded dragons and other desert reptiles. Or replace the cage for your corn snake with ease. This is garbage, trash, destitute. Jesus. Uh, so we got two little bowls. They're pretty deep. I might use these as feeding bowls or perhaps water bowls. Uh, I don't know, we'll just, we'll end up seeing. Uh, we got this uh, thermometer and hygrometer. Um, these things kind of suck. Uh, I find the reptile ones are always really crappy, but you know, I'll use them. I'll probably post them up in my room or I might just hide them away for future use. We got a 100 watt basking bulb, which is good because I needed to replace the bulb for, for Nyx. And then one of these UVB desert bulbs. The only thing is I don't use like these um, like spiral UVBs. <laughs> Okay, so we got reptile carpet. I am not a huge fan of reptile carpet. In fact, I very much dislike reptile carpet. Oh, and someone's texting me. Oh, my friend's ex is dating one of their best friends. This is incredibly tragic. Maybe I should cut all that. Okay, you know, I'm gonna rant really quick. Just, just really, really fast. Reptile heat lights 
uh, are some of the worst products that have ever been invented. I feel like the, the reptile uh, consumerist mantra should be never to buy anything that is explicitly marketed towards reptiles because it's always gonna be overpriced um, and pretty crappy quality. Look who's back again in the tiny little nook slash corner. Okay, so I'm I'm uh, I'm just gonna get some decorations together to add to Fatty's cage because as of right now, all the decorations that are in her cage, with the exception of one of her hides, are built into some excavator clay that I put in there. So I can't really utilize them. So this is giving me a good opportunity to just build it from scratch. So here's the thing: I got three boxes of decorations and a 10-gallon tank. I very frequently overuse supplies or try to pack too many things into one cage, I'm gonna try as hard as I can to resist that urge and only do what's appropriate. So, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm just gonna grab everything that I think could work in Fatty's cage and we're gonna see if it works. That'll probably work. I'm gonna use this rock as well. They probably don't have these types of cactus cacti in the Middle East where leopard geckos are from, but I'll throw it in just to see. Okay, stones and hard goods. Oh, this is so heavy. This, this is done with plants. This little guy, obviously. This guy looks pretty deserty, pretty naturey. We'll throw him in there. I, I hope to eventually use everything that's in this uh, in these little boxes here, but also I like having overstock because it makes me feel like I'm truly, truly a prepared reptile owner. Say so I have this, I wanna use this, but it just doesn't fit right now. Okay, no more usable stuff in here. I'm only getting two. Also, here's a, sh a skin shed, two skin sheds from when I used to have a pet alligator lizard in 2010. That's insane. All right, let's get rid of you. And lastly, we'll look at all the wooden decorations. I had these little guys for my frogs, but they ended up not using them because they're too... Well, they did... They The problem was that they were using them and they ended up getting too backed up. So I'll grab the smaller one see if Fatty wants to use it. Okay, but you know, there's not much else stuff. Okay, um, I think we have our ingredients, our appropriate ingredients. I'll probably just do the cage build uh, right here because this is already set up. Hopefully the footage is good. Let me you know. Let me check right now. Okay, so I got everything situated. I moved the, that shelf down. I'm sandwiching Apollo. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna buy some LED strip lights to put underneath here so that Apollo gets a little bit more light since now he's gonna be kind of uh, squished a little bit by Teddy's cage. Um, but you know, Cracky's doing fine. And as it seems, it seems like Fatty is acclimating to her new cage. She was sort of walking around getting the lay of the land and everything. So. Enjoy your new home, Fatty. Sorry, it's a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, let's just move Teddy up in here. Hi, Teddy.
And we are done. It took me a lot quicker than I thought to get everything done. Not that I'm doing a whole lot of, I did a whole lot of work or anything like that, but I don't know, in, in the state that I'm currently in, um, I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer. But no, no, I got all my shopping done in one day. I got all of the, I got all of the building done in a day and the rearranging done in a day. Uh, if only I could get the editing done in a day, that would be really, really nice. Um, a boy can dream though. I do need to make a couple changes though. Like Teddy's cage is so barren. I need to clean it and add some more substrate for him to burrow and then maybe add some decorations. Apollo's cage needs a light because it's a little dark where he's sandwiched. And then Fatty seems to be doing well. She she already found a poop corner in this new cage, which is good. I'll definitely have some more updates on everyone and just what I'm thinking about doing in the next video, which should be a full reptile room tour. I wanted to squeeze this one out before I revisited that video. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Again, as I continued saying, I love and appreciate how everyone has been watching and reacting to the videos. And I think my first video of the new year, Bonji needs to play the bongos.